seconds remaining. Dire team ban. Team secrets turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Welcome back, everybody. We've got another game. Very quickly, snappily, from one best of one to the other. The ESL way. Admins are on the case. Get into our lobbies. Get into the games. Let's uh, get into the draft, shall we, Lacoste, and show people what we're dealing with so far. Infamous up against Team Secret. Definitely on the cards here. One of the, one of the more interesting matchups. We've seen Team Secret struggle against South American teams before. But time. SG were defeated in the qualifiers by Infamous very, very handily through to this main event, Katowice. Do you think Secret, though, have improved since then? Do you think they've got a chip on their shoulder against South America? Do you think they'll come out strong here? And knowing Papi, I don't think he cares about the loss. He's, uh, <laughs> he's all forward guy. Always wants to win, prove, even though he proved himself Five thousands of times, well, still wants to prove it. Um, so I don't, let's, again, we have a matchup uh, here, tier one uh, team against tier two team. I mean, team secret overall, more experienced players, even though the infamous is a team that should not be underestimated, especially mm -hmm. on LAN, uh, especially in best. Ten seconds remaining. Anything can happen, and uh, I always um, feel like uh, when you're playing as an underdog, you have nothing to lose. Uh, that that's a great advantage for tier two teams. You know what I want to see? I want to see Oracle Husk. Well, from that's, that's what I want. What I do not want to see is Disruptor and Naga, which we're not gonna see. Naga's banned. Bless, bless Infamous. Start things off with a tiny there. Oracle. But that is something that we've seen a fair amount in South American Dota recently. Oracle Huskar coming back to play a little bit. We'll talk about that if and when it comes. As Team Secret now up against Tiny. They've got no Chen, no Naga, no Bounty Hunter here. What do they aim to do in this first phase of the You still want to pick a Disruptor into this? Well, no. They still yeah, just got... <laughs> Well, that's... Uh, I'm going to say right now, neither of us would have called that. And I don't think anyone would ever call it. Not, not with 115 guesses. <laughs> I'm rating first pick. All right. I, that, I was thinking uh, two days ago about uh, heroes who are pretty much useless and need needs a rework. Uh, Raid King is uh, one of those heroes. Uh, it, you can make it work, uh, but he's, he has one spell. You have one active spell, and that's it. You can summon Skeleton just for the memes. Hey now, you have, you have two active spells. Hey now, you've got the stun and you've got Skeleton. Well, it's improving over time. Over, what, 13 <laughs> years, he, he's got uh, an aura that you can turn off and on, Amazing. and uh, you can summon Skeleton. Five seconds remaining. Bad. I don't know. It, it can feel so weird, especially if you're losing a game. Uh, Using that stun and then they kill you and kite around you feels so weird because he, he's not that fast, relies uh, on securing the right clicks. Phantom Lancer, are um, one of the heroes that Bolt Force builds into Diffusal Blade, burns his mana. Uh, but big upgrade for Raid King is uh, no mana cost on reincarnation on level. Puppy has been picking a lot of Skyrot Mage. Remaining. One of the heroes that uh, can be new any lane, uh, one of the better harassers I mean, these uh, two versus two, three versus three mid scenarios. Yeah. Good for the off lane as well. I mean, good for the aggressive. With these two plus one more, you can always go aggressive. Like at, at Genting, for instance, against Virtus Pro, he went unkilled. His final score was 5 0 17 on his last Skyrath Mage performance. He knows his way around the hero. And that was alongside things like Earthshaker, Kunker for mid one, 
uh, uh, shake up the yap store, of course. They might, they might get uh, Konka against the uh, field. Do that. The splash against the illusions is just three gold, and mid one love. They might even bring uh, Amber Spirit. Lose. There goes the OD ban. Hero very good against the Wraith King, removing all of that in mana. Cool. Now, Tiny and PL. I, I guess Wraith King doesn't really care too much about the Tiny burst, right? You know, Avalanche Toss comes in, either he dies and reincarnates yeah. there, or turns around and fights. Secrets, turn turn around back. there. A good ban on the Tide Hunter, though. Remove Fata's arguably stronger hero in their offlane. Tiny is one of the heroes that um, you can play any role besides position 5, so everything is open for them. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of teams love to bait him, just go Ten go first pick Tiny, and if they pick a lot of counters to Tiny, Great King is one of the counters. Um, I had a talk with Jarek about uh, Tiny. Tiny is still a broken hero to one. The most broken back. part is uh, him uh, denying, say, stone creeps. Hitting the creeps and hitting a hero. That that's way too much. Tree cleave gets a little We've seen it from a couple of teams as well. Like the Rubik band here is a really nice one. We've seen the Rubik tiny combo, right? Yeah. Toss someone back from the creep wave into a Rubik and then Rubik lifts them into a tower and then they get stunned on the tower and they die. Not gonna be handling any of that nonsense. Through from Infamous there. Nice hero that could have been picked up. Plus, uh, they don't want to play against Rubik because they don't want any uh, good spells to be stolen from Raid King. Yeah, absolutely. Like, you never know what you're going to steal. He's got a multitude. He's got a plethora. An absolute smorgasbord of spells. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I've got more words about it than he does spells. Boy. Spiel. Underlord for secret. Yeah, uh, Underlord, one of my... Favorite heroes when it comes to PL, it just feeds on those illusions uh, and the root as well. One of the better counters to PL is also Puck, uh, because with the coil, uh, even if he uses a doppelganger, it always snaps. Every time he has a coil, it's a secure kill on Lancer. So, uh, Disruptor, um, one of the better heroes against the Underlord, because he can send him back with a glimpse if he uses ulti. Five seconds remaining. Chase potential. Also, reasonably good against the Wraith King. You, you pretty much know Dying when people are going to kind of dogpile in, group up around Wraith King. Especially if you die with that ulti up, just pop down on him and make cause, but secret. Wraith. With a Wraith King and, and now a Lifestealer. Life Wraith King 4 roll comes to mind here, but I Ten don't know remain. about that anymore. We saw it for a little while, you know, you think back Five three years ago. Remaining. We had Alchemist support, we had Wraith King support. They're running around, they're stunning, they're killing. It, In this it game. can be done. Like, uh, when I had the thoughts uh, two days ago about Wraith King that he needs um, rework, Maybe you can, uh, what I thought of, if you like build the, you can go for, let's say, uh, Blink Dagger, but first you go Urn, you need to have some kind of damage if you want as a roam. Maybe you want to have, uh, say, Face Boots, Mask of Madness, so you actually farm and deal damage and transition into a core. But, uh, medallion? Yeah, I don't know, but the Aghanim Scepter is the core. If you want to play Raid King, but how are you going to farm 4,000 gold with Raid King? That's the item is... Is so good on him. By a battle fury, obviously. <laughs> I mean, come on. Could now. be, could be the case though. I don't know what what or, they're gonna do with the Wraith King and the Life. Or what you do here is you put Life Steal in mid, Wraith King safe lane, Underlord off, and you pick an Alchemist. Or Yapsil yeah, plays support Alchemist. Shut up, Jerry. That's... Collects all the bounty runes and he buys an Ags and he gives it to Wraith King and then he doesn't need to farm it. Wow, that's amazing. Mind blown. blown your freaking mind. mind. I just want to see what, what their last pick is going to be. Clockwork, uh, one of the better heroes against the Skyrat Mage in general and Lifestealer. Uh, he also burns Raid King's mana for ulti. Skyrat, no, no escape mechanism whatsoever. Also builds into Blade Mail. Uh, Lifestealer can't. Uh, Go through the cogs, needs to focus rage to 
steal those as well. Man. Secret, though. So, what I'm seeing from this kind of 4v4 so far is Infamous have a lot of catch. They've got this kind of chase potential vision game through Clock and Disruptor. They scale with PL. Secret, kind of static in their heroes. You know, there's no great maneuverability, no blinks or kind of natural four staff buys or anything like that. You can argue maybe Wraith King buys a blink dagger. For the most part, they are kind of, you know, these, these bulky, slow heroes that want to kind of move together as a team and try and find pickoffs. I worry about how Infamous deals with that. Because they've got the kind of catch, they've got these abilities to find individual heroes here and there. But Secret, they've got difficult heroes to kill. Yeah, both three of their cores are so tanky. Lifestealer, Underlord, Wraith King. I, I, I still think it's going to be... Yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'm with you, honestly. Like, I said it as a bit of a joke, but it, it looks like it might just be going that way. Although, Ace has played a fair amount of the Wraith King, and we could feasibly see, you know, Fata playing the Lifestealer, something along the We'll just have to wait. Infamous, their Hurry last up, hero. Infamous, we want to see it. Just, just ban anything. It is one of those situations again where Secret, along the lines of Liquid, so very versatile. They ban the Leshrac, interestingly enough. Now, look towards the hero. I'm assuming tiny off lane, PL safe lane. For mid, what do you want to see here? You go for like a Viper? Could be a good pick. Uh, against Lifestealer, Raid King. Uh... A lot of magical damage Five from Underlord and remaining. Sky builds into a pike. One point, good, It'd be really good item. The uh, skill team secret has has the last pick, so they have a clockwork and tiny as well, so they can put one of those on position four and the other on position team three. Turn to we go in from a queen of pain. Oh. Mid lane, I guess. You know, all things considered, you don't know what you're going to be matched up against. Swap is always going to give you that mid game rank. You may well, now select your hero. So what, it's going to be for Raid King. Mid one DK. There we go. Next, Team Secret. Come on, yeah, sir. Battle Underlord. Your hero. Puppy Wraith King. There we go, Puppy. Puppy is the Wraith King, so he's a support, so that Pop, means... Yeah, Puppy has a cooler uh, cosmetic, so that's why he's... Look at him, got Frostmourne, he is the Lich King. Ace will be the Lifestealer, and that will round things up with the Fata Underlord. Over on Infamous, we have Papita, Queen of Pain, Schofield, Clockwork. Anime name Disruptor, anime name PL, and Stinger on the Tiny. How do you feel about these drafts? I'm just thinking about uh, Wraith King. Wraith King. <laughs> I, I want to see what build he goes. Double mango. Double mango? Yeah. Um, the laning stage... Well, we're just gonna... M maybe Yapsor will help uh, Fata at the bottom lane at start. Because, I mean, Underlord is... That good of a solo laner to go in and win the lane. Uh, especially if they decide to go for Clockwork Disruptor at the start on the bottom lane. And then they have a really good kill. Can't TP out. Doesn't um, feel like they need to give mid one much help. Mid disruptor clockwork. They could come in, annoy people. Stinger could be there as well. Mid one should have you know a reasonable time in the lane, right? So they can focus on the side lanes with it. Queen of Pain is one of the heroes that uh, I have the same feeling as. Not feels like you you can pick it anytime. Jack for the safe lane, Queen yeah. of Pain for the mid. It uh, kind of always fits. I don't know if the game is paused or why is it taking so long. PC crash. Yeah, All right. Is, in fact... Smart one, you aren't you? Way too long. Inner clock was not ticking. <laughs> You're wondering, what's happening? What's going on? Why aren't we starting? But yeah, see how things pass. They have like four heroes that are so hard to take down. PL illusions don't deal that much damage, especially when Underlord is around. On a DK who has natural high armor, Raid King, he doesn't care that much until he gets a Fusel Blade. I don't know. The, 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 the heroes inside of Team Secret 
look unkillable. Yeah, uh, I'm thinking now, Timbersaw wasn't banned, right? Um, nope. I think so. So in, in this situation, you know, picking that clockwork as the Roma, I guess, makes sense. You, you want that tiny into the offlane. Could, could you have maybe gone for a DK instead of the Queen of Pain as a... Yeah, you mean Timbersaw uh, instead of the Queen of Pain. Yeah. Queen of Pain? Absolutely. Um, definitely. When you, when you see those uh, tanky strength cores, uh, Timbersaw is always the choice. Uh, I saw a couple of picks uh, on side of a uh, complexity against Mineski. They they last picked Timbersaw as look really isn't the uh, Timbersaw game as well. Are you checking that or what? No, I, I was looking uh, the the draft progression. I wanted to see what, what was banned. Second final phase, but it's fine. Mage resumes the game. Yapzor says, let's go. Sad. Yeah, papita is a, is a Spanish word for puppy. I, I, I believe you with my whole heart. You are a master of languages, Luko. Yes, I am. Yeah. Only I could speak in better English, but... You get invited to TI, then? As a caster, not a player? Yeah, not anymore, man. So we're just looking at Puppy, right? Just all eyes on Puppy. Orb of Venom, or the extra slow. Puppy is... Uh, the hands are off the keyboard now, mate. Puppy is... Uh, this game. So he bought everything, it's... Uh, well, if let's say th this meta right now, uh, with 15%, uh, uh, there's so much memes, so many numbers. 10% for Puppy, 15% for new stacking camps. Uh, you can actually get a lot of gold if uh, he stacks, True. especially for Underlord. Dragonite ones. Money for Puppy might be coming. Let's take a look at these starting builds then. You mentioned the Orb of Venom there for Puppy, his 5 roll. Semi poverty build with the Obs Wards giving out mangoes while Yapsaw starts with a full wand and a mango. So it wasn't the double mango from the Wraith King, it was kind of the double mango for the star. Ace, regular, Fata, standard, mid one, normal, Papita, and the rest of the crew pretty much just have all of the classic cookie cutter starting builds. Dinger will move down towards bottom lane. Puppy starts things off with a Wraith Fire Blast. A bit of damage coming in from Yapsor as well. He's in gonna fact, need the skill. Avalanche. Will indeed. That means no toss, and it also means the damage coming in from Yapsor is going to be enough with one more hit. The Arcane Bolt comes through, and First Blood is gained. Also leads to a triple bounty rune pickup here from Team Secret as Ace gets his hands. Two of them. Yapsor clicking on uh, Nike's runes. But, yep. the, but it changed, it doesn't matter. Thanks, sorry, didn't read the patch notes. <laughs> uh, I, I guess he's gonna just get Robo of the Magi in the side shop. I would get uh, way more mana pool for Cane Bolt as well, more damage. Keeping top, as we talked during the draft, he needs to help out Fara. Oh, a very quick kill of the cog. Go field, even with that trap in. Cool to keep the Underlord inside. Yapsaw keeps moving forward for the damage onto Disruptor. Oh. I want to keep my eye on these other lanes at the same time, though. Schofield moving very aggressively forward there. Gets a bit of a burn back, but the CS come the way of secret as they kill off the cogs. Do you think uh, his nickname is Schofield because of the prison break? Finger. Tiny dies again this time. Ace and Puppy, open wounds and Wraith Fire Blast, enough. Yeah, plus Orb of Venom, that's... Uh, he doesn't move. The Tiny is uh, 285, level 1. Immobile. Not, not level 1, he's... Always going to be 285, but, but without boots, yeah. yeah. Bad, bad times. I never watched Prison Break. Season, I may have seen season an one was or two. Uh, amazing. Season two was uh, decent. After that, so classic American. Yeah, TV just uh, milking the cow for the money. Uh, top lane, the Clockwork needs to get the uh, level two so they can actually get some kills. Disruptor has no region left whatsoever. Now doing a good job at pushing Fanta back into the Phantom Lancer here with a quick TP out. Glimpse cancels. They will be able to get the kill there at least. Oh, that's going to cripple Underlord, Underlord a lot. He, he will need to walk back to the lane, but it will give uh, Kyra 
some time to pick up the runes, maybe get some XP on top as well. Speaking of runes, old stinger, itself potentially double bounty, but also an arcane rune. Yet to level up boss or tree grab. The other goes for the tree grab now. See him. Back down towards bottom and get some CS, hopefully. I wonder if uh, Life Dealer is gonna go for Battle Fury or Radiance build this game. Now to go top lane. And inside the cogs, trying to do as much damage to Disruptor as he can, but Schofield here is unable to has kill him off 11, 11 sticks. one charges. You're right, he does indeed. So now the turnaround. Schofield takes a big bunch of damage from the Arcane Bolt. Keep Yapsor Fata now in a very good position. Like you were mentioning, there's no HP regen left on Disruptor. One Tango and five stick charges here for the clockwork. EL definitely feels like he's going to be pressured in the next, you know, 45 seconds to a minute or so. Taro will struggle for a little bit. Bottom lane, Lifesteal, you're talking about his build. Heading into the treads. Really an indication of one of the kind of deviations away from Armlet, right? Uh, yeah. Well, they could use uh, either Mjolnir or Radiance or Battle Fury. It's, it's not a bad idea, actually. I've seen Mushi do it a couple of times. Yeah. It's one of those items on the Lifestealer and the PL and the newer Battle Fury builders, a Spectre, for instance. It, it, it may seem weird and wonky, but it gets you to that third item so much faster if you're able to farm even reasonably quickly. Puppy here with a double stun and a mango to go. Might just be able to kill Stinger here with a cooldown on the Wraithfire Blast coming up in a second. He's going to use Salve a mango. There. Mango popped. Stun comes in. Needs a hit. Needs a crit. crit. Needs to get the damage done with crit. one more touch. He will not be able to secure it with the tango going the orb of venom ticks him down but not low enough being a very close to death drags a wave all the way from bot towards mid our pizza forced back away with no regen left on the queen of pain either needs that bottle to come out and ASAP. welcome to 2018 support raid king bullying you out of the lane uh, he looks like uh, od too. or uh, someone from lord of the rings the, uh, the horseman. Yep. Oh, they placed the sentry. Was Yaps or Invis? Yep. Well, they see him now. Battery assault forward. Three stick charges will not save you there. Go field finally. I guess they're just gonna wait for the shrine. Yeah, 15 seconds. Get some stacks going. The efficiency. Oh, oh, oh. Some lovely money there for the supports. Stack 10. Feels oh, good. yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot, forgot about that. Maybe I didn't forgot because I never knew it. Though. Just never stacked. Yeah. How many creep, uh, creep camp stack do you have? No, I don't want to check. Several hundred, I believe. <laughs> Mid lane, backstab onto mid one, his soul ring and wand. Well, might be enough to get him out of trouble here. Mid one gets screened down, the kinetic field is there. Papita, level five, blinks forward aggressively. But mid one with the two points in the dragon blood and the 12 one charge is still unused, looks perfectly fine. Walk himself up towards the shrine near Fata, who also needs to use it. Puppy also, also needs to use the shrine, so they're gonna get a three man efficient shrine usage here for secret. That, that's a German shrine right there. German efficiency. Absolutely, right on time. Shield. Anime name. Stunned up there on the high ground. Secret, very good at killing off those cogs. We'll take them down. Things pretty slow at the start of this game. Two to two. Not much of a lead here for Secret. Infamous holding on very nicely in these lanes, but it, it feels like the cause of Team Secret, the fact that Puppy is doing so well in this bottom lane. They're pressuring nicely on these lanes. Ace now with Infest, jump out onto Stinger. Bit of chip damage here and there. With the open wounds forward, Ace will keep on diving. Push this Tiny all the way out of lane. Burn through his last bit of regen, the Tango. Lane to himself. Disruptor and Schofield. And yeah, that's a really weird move. Six minutes in, you have two, two supports invading uh, your shrine. Uh, Has Light of Heaven renamed himself? Mortalis now. <laughs> Sadly for Tiny, uh, he can't uh, toss a uh, Lifestealer away when he uh, uses Rage. 
used to be able to, but no longer. Field might not escape from this with his life. The final arcane bolt will fly. Raindrop cooldown. Rain Four, three, two, one. Oh! oh! Nearly, but not nearly enough. Feels bad, man. Oh, is that a good, a good move, good idea. Not yeah, quite but, fast enough. Well, he moved it to a stash because uh, he's, uh, he wants to build an urn and you want to waste that last charge. You move it to, to your stash so it doesn't get popped. We'll lose out. Puppy fake pumping the stun. Papita looking for the jump forward potentially here as they do go in with the kinetic fuel sonic wave mid one drops. Puppy found the cross kill onto the disruptor, but Yapsor is being left here by the rest of his team. So we end up four to four. Eight minutes in. Infamous doing well to kind of react, respect, and deal with what Secret are throwing into these lanes. But every time you look across this map, Ace is farming, Fat is farming. Four men group up from Infamous means that, okay, PL is getting a lot out of this top lane. But do you think it's going to be fast enough to deal with what Secret has? Especially when they picked PL into the Wraith King, expecting it to be a, a one-roll Wraith King. Now having to deal with a Radiance Lifestealer coming up shortly. Relic, but here's a big rotation coming. Work and Disruptor looking for these levels to push them closer to six apiece. The Glimpse Rage. Of course, we'll be there from Ace. Level four what was in that? it. Like that, that was not good, good gank attempt at all. Not like they have anything to back it up. Uh, uh, even if both supports were level six, it would have been a hard. Hit. Tried, and that's what matters. I don't think that matters, man. It, it doesn't show on the <laughs> on the end, end game scoreboard that, that, that you, he tried tick. six times. There's like, an exclamation <laughs> mark next to, next to the disruptor. Like he tried to glimpse the life stealer. <laughs> the rage will be there, of course. Ace in no real trouble. Yep, so defending mid one. Dragon Knight, level seven, closing in on level eight. Treads done. Pulling, of course, already and running. Peter, what are we looking at now? 45 and 6 with a DD rune trying to head into Treads Orchid. I'm, I'm much more of a fan. I don't know about you, uh, but this build for me is, is much nicer for the kind of gameplay that we see nowadays. The kind of fast-paced, action-killing, slaying nerds non-stop. I, I much prefer the, the Orchid into Kyra or Orchid Lincolns over the Veil into Yule's build. Well, depends. Uh, he's going to need the, the Vitam definitely because of the mage so a uh, yule scepter after that or a bkb uh, i think bkb is better. malice dragonite stun the way puppy the heads continues his reign of domination in this bottom lane 4.8k net worth being beaten out a little bit by the pl here with a max phantom rush of course Massive amounts of damage to these creeps as he goes back into the jungle. Schofield top trapped in with some creeps of his own. Forced out the Dark Rift from the Underlord as he didn't know where the PL was. A little bit of afraid of what's lurking in the shadows. Now we start to see the tomes coming out. Disruptor, nowhere near level 6 really there. Clockwork, same story. But then you look at the Radiant side. You've got Wraith King, level 5.5. Thor is now third of a level, quarter of a level even away from that level 6. So these ultis, they're going to start coming through pretty soon, and they do a lot of work here. Yeah, I love the build on Puppy though. He's level 5, uh, 100 gold away from Helm of the Dometer, which will increase the region for him. He's just stacking the creep camp. I don't know, Helm of the, the Dominator, but he, he needs a magic wand to pop, uh, pop some stuns in those fights. I am not Pimp Muckle. Fortunately. Poor Fatter dies up at top. Mid lane, Yapsaw just keeep chipping away at the PL, but mid one and ace pressuring a tier two at this point with a catapult wave going, they'll do a good chunk of damage. If not, down this entire tower. You were saying. Pretty much done. Right, pick it up from the secret shop. There it what's, is, what's summoning the skeletons. Nothing happens. They die to neutrals. That's Ancient pretty much camp it. is back. Oh, he's oh. got a ghost. He's a ghost go. himself. Yeah. Wraith plus ghost. 
really, he really is playing Lord of the Rings, isn't he? <laughs> Do you remember those Warcraft 3, you know, custom games? The RPGs? Yeah. Yeah, it's just uh, Helm's Deep, you know? Attack on Helm's Deep here from uh, Puppy. They've, they've got the Mystic Flare, which is like a load of arrows flying from the sky. They've got the Rain of Fire as well. I had a... Oh, they're gonna kill the chicken. Oh. Killed. I had a Lord of the Rings strat for Dota 2. It was Venge. Uh, she attacks with the... Her aura, once someone dies, third blade, reflection, Raid King with Aghanim Scepter. I think there was one more though. Oh, just undead. Yeah, the, the... ghosts appearing everywhere. Oh. The untargetable. Maybe DP with Talti. Yeah. Dragon Knight is around. Pretty much knows that, yeah, with the ghost scouting forward, they see the disruptor, the tiny, the clockwork all roaming around mid lane. Yapsaw gets it out with a quick silence onto Papita, TPing away. From danger, Bata will be unable to TP away from the PL, whose fresh defusal grabs himself another kill. We've, we've missed two this game, and both kills have been on the on the Underlord. We'll, we'll catch up with him once he's respawned. Uh, I didn't miss that. Right. Pull it on me. Uh, it's the Royal We, you know. Yeah, all right, Gary B. Yeah, Gary B, man, it sounds uh, <laughs> sounds like you're from Spice Girls. Yeah, sounds like I'm from the 90s, basically. Sounds like a, a 90s English DJ or rapper. Quick stun in from the Dragonite mid one, Static Storm back, but Papita blinks away. No follow through there. Catch the Queen of Pain, even with the Mystic Flare. Oh, oh, ahead. Yeah, good for Papita. He actually decides to go. The old Scepter, he's not uh, as aggressive as you, Gary. He wants that. The old Scepter to remove the stun and... Uh, not stun, remove the silence and dodge the stuns. I'm, 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 I'm a fan of one or the other. I'm just not a fan of like the Veil Yules, which was like, you know, the kind of standard build for a long time was just Veil Yules, Veil Yules. And they got kind of boring, got kind of samey. Fan of new things coming. Secret, trying to convert into a tower here. Top lane being pushed by creeps, but they'll group up middle lane with four members of this secret squad. Now look at the build on mid one. Soul Ring into Blink Dagger. They lack uh, initiation tool. They don't have any hero that can initiate the fight. That's the reason why he went for a Blink Dagger. Because otherwise, they can't start a fight. And especially with Nikes, uh, having someone with a Blink Dagger, at least they have a, a vehicle for Nikes that way. Then get kills. Skyrath Mage has a full Kaya done. Yep, so the farmed four roll. Pretty good right now. Tiny dumps a little bit here for the Dire side, fortunately. Yeah, Arcane Boots, 1600 gold towards his Blink Dagger. Needs that to come out a little bit snappier. Yeah, Kaya is one of the best items. Besides Aghanim Scepter, of course, but the, the, the cheap one, you, you don't even need that mana boost because he's so mana dependent, uh, it lowers the uh, cost of the and the magic uh, damage as well. He also went just for the one level of Arcane Bolt. Uh, good, in my opinion. Uh, concussive Shot uh, scales better. And you're not that mana dependent. You go for that build. And then you've got Ancient Seal. So yeah. great up against PL. Pain. Now she has the Yules, a way to deal with it at least. Pretty damn strong. Kataro though, keeps his farm game going. 8.5k net worth. This PL is getting... Maybe a little bit out of hand. Secret. The ways to deal with it now. Radiance up for the life stealer will come out. The Kaya is there, as we've seen. Or oh, Yapsor, a quick ray away. He'll get himself out of harm's reach. He just continues farming jungle. Pretty, pretty passive here. You know, infamous South American teams. We're so very commonly saying they're like, you know, they're like the Russians. They're like the CIS squads. They're aggressive. They're always non-stop looking for smokes and ganks. Early on, they were doing rotations and movements. Kind of pressured Seeker a little bit. They didn't get too many kills out of it, but right now they seem to be very nicely keeping their cores in the game, making sure everyone's getting farm and levels and the tools they need. They're not rushing into anything. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. Because uh, these supports, especially on Team Secret, are not as good early on. They couldn't find any openings. Five kills so far really hard to start a gank with. Can you actually steal Mortal Strike with Rubik? He uses it as a last spell. Summon zero skeleton. 
makes sense, probably not. Um, I guess you should you should be able to steal it, right? Spell with mana that you can cast. No expert. Flick forward, there's the DK stun in. With a chain from the Centaur as well, Papita. <laughs> Thought that he was going to be safe with the Yule Scepter, but no. Quick and instant dispatch there. Making it work out. Top lane now, setting up for a defense of the tier one. Medallion Radiance done for Ace. Build up against EL with the mischance and the evasion. Illusion cannot hit you. Have a crash here. Looks like one of Secret's PCs is being sabotaged. Yeah, I don't know who, who's doing it. Is someone doing it on purpose or what's happening? Uh, Underlord uh, actually goes for Vanguard, which will mitigate a lot of damage. PL Illusions. Hopefully at one point he upgrades. Crimson Guard, I always forget. I always mix it up with Solar Crest. Solar Crest, in yeah. In my head, yeah. yeah. Is it just because they came out at like the same time? Probably. It sounds, sounds the same. Feel, uh, though, zero deaths so far. Top of CS chart and board both. Um, once he gets uh, that Manta style, he can get uh, rid of the silences, open wounds. That's, that's gonna be a problem at one point. Yeah, but look at the deep wards on the side of uh, Infamous. This one, this one behind the towers, that, that provides a lot of uh, movement vision when they're actually leaving the lanes. Also, not, not, not a lot of teams actually place those uh, lane wards, especially in the late game, which provides you the most vision. Well, one, of, one of the best wards that you can have uh, at the late game and say mid game as well, which I prefer, is the this ward here, even if you're playing Dire or Radiant, and yeah, the, the warded. It, it provides you vision. If enemy is in your jungle, uh, like there are two camps, so if uh, you're not farming there, you see where enemy is moving. Actually, if they play aggressive, if they're in your forest, both camps are close to each other, so you have enough to actually gank. Yeah, so he, <laughs> he's a core. Garth core. Doing pretty well for himself. Always changed. Yeah, changed he, he, just, he just had Heaven's Halberd. Now he yeah. has Shiva's Guard. I still want to see a Wraith Agony. Watch him, watch him swap. Swap to Agony. There no, that's drums. not a... <laughs> <laughs> So, one more time, come on. We're just re he's just re-rolling, right? Rolling a dice, seeing what number comes up, counting in the shop to see how far he has to go in. End up with a Dagon or something on his Wraith King, isn't it? Still, still only on the brown boots. No Soul Ring, no Arcanes, nothing here to sustain the Wraith King's mana really outside of the wand. How he does up a PL or Fusel Blade. He didn't even skill saving a pool. He has what? Four, six. He's actually saving uh, three points. Where are they going to go? Anyway. I, I, Puppy hasn't really even shown in lane, right? Just been jungling. <laughs> he has just, this, he's that, just that's been That's a jungling. report. That's a six, six month ban right there. To be fair, I mean, he's 204, 67 CS. That, that is him, right? It's not bugging out. He's involved in every single. The map movement of pub, spot on. Uh, I've had some jungle wraith kings in my pub games recently. You know, they they go jungle level one. Do they go for uh, max crystallis? They do. The mom yeah. mom crystallis. I've yeah. seen a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the same classic. Yeah, some, seems like. See, look, divine one, divine five. No difference in our pub experience. <laughs> <laughs> these jungle players, no. <laughs> all, all the same mentality, same way of thinking. I don't care about the other nine players. I want to farm creeps and win the game on my own. So now we're looking at these dire supports with their ulti, right? No, we're, we're looking at the game's pause. Okay, well, I'm looking at Clockwork and Disruptor, and they've got their ultis ready. Do you think it is now time, Infamous, to try and force the issue? Or do you just wait for the Queen of Pain to respawn? It's getting to this kind of awkward timing where you have 
you know, Blink Tiny, you have Hookshot, Static Storm, you've got all these tools, but we go back to what we said at the end of the draft, where Secret have unkillable heroes. Well, if they... Uh, Clockwork and Disruptor, I love uh, those two together, um, because one cancels the other. Uh, so together with the two ultis, they can pretty much kill anyone. That's a lot of burst damage. Level 4, Battery Assault, plus uh, Static Storm, full duration with Cogs. They, they can take down any hero. They need to be fast. On Nike. And I guess then you've got this blink. Full avalanche toss build. 4-3-1. Mine is gone. You've got the huge nuke damage. Yeah, if they are able to find jump on someone. To easily bring them down. So far to shoot up a pipe early and now he's reconnected. That back up again. Pipe going for your team against a huge amount of magic damage coming dire side. Away. 66. Nothing really in it. Metric wise, very balanced, even game so far. So smoke up from Tiny and Clockwork. Towards the top lane. Disruptor already set up and ready. Ping out onto the PL. Secret. They're getting baited in here. Infest into the DK. There is the Infest bomb. Looking to jump onto the PL. They catch and they kill. Kotaro immediately blown up. The setup was for mid, in fact. Infamous move in. But there is no one to be grabbed here. Looks well, like... if they don't have a vehicle for nice, you just buy a blink dagger and that's it. The Underlord ulti is coming on mid lane. Oh, they actually have Centaur Conqueror from Helm of the Dominator, which is uh, pretty cool because of the move speed that he has. So, so they can backstab people with it. It's like Tiny and Clockwork, they, they get away though. They can do some sneaky plays with that uh, Centaur Conqueror plus uh, Underlord element. Mid one. I think he has accepted his fate. He realized that he'd been left high and dry there. Yeah, Fata drops the whoops. We've all TP'd mid, mid one. He's been left alone against the Queen of Pain and then the rotation from Tiny Clockwork come in and secure it all up. Secret. They get one, then they immediately lose one straight after. Lifestealer still running. This farm going. He's the real carry. That's a double miss chance from Solar Crest and uh, Radiance, uh, Queen of Pain and the uh, PL Illusion. Dealing with it. The under finishes. Pipe. Pipe Pipe is coming. Down in the near future. Puppy by a full item. His drums, drums yeah. did manage to complete them up. Did you know it's actually called drum instead of drum? Drum Every of endurance. Yeah, everyone calls it drum. Yeah. Probably because they have charges, so it can't be just one drum. Right? Yeah. Or it's one drum, and every time you tap it, it wears away at the skin on top. And it only tap it. Well, you, you can't make a good music. As Russians call it, Barabani. Baraban? No? No? Yeah, I just love that word. I don't know. I, I watched Baraban. before a lot of Russians. <laughs> I love to, to <laughs> listen Garmushka. to that, even though I didn't understand way too much, but uh, I learned the uh, some. Fair enough. Baraban. It rolls off the tongue. It's got a nice. Our ancient stack scouted here. A secret move in towards middle lane. Blink stun from the DK. Catch of the tiny. With that pit of malice forward, they'll need another stun here to catch Stinger. And with the Wraith Fire Blast in, the damage that they've got, they secure it's the kill. Time. Absolutely. Could not be more right. So Infamous Dyer's looks like they're trying to set up for some kind of counterplay here, but they don't have their PL just yet. They can TP to the shrine if they set up for it, but they need vision inside the pit. Where's the rocket flare? There we go. PL wants uh, to have his Manta style 50 gold away from it before he takes a fight. So yeah. they're going to give up this Roche yeah, down they then? can't. The Roche goes way too fast with the fire. They're going to even defend your two tower on the Roche shot in. Aegis already taken and out they go. Down towards bottom, you're right. They dark rift here. Limps back. Looks like it catches one, but Yavso turns onto the Queen of Pain. Yule Scepter expended, so no mechanism there. But mid one, being back towards bottom lane as the fight continues. Aegis 
Radiant's life steal are raging forward, looking for the catch, but there's the doppelganger forward. Mid one needs to stun. He's not going to be able to catch the right one just yet. The pit of malice does miss the kinetic field will catch Ace and trap him away from the PL and give Kotaro some safety to maneuver. Well played there by Infamous to get themselves out of a sticky situation, but equally putting themselves in a position where they lose Roche. They don't get the tier two. They do get a tier one mid, however, as Queen of Pain clears that one up. Still kind of a wide and varied loss there from Infamous, even though they don't lose any big hero. Chasing. I want this Disruptor. Poppy really wants this Disruptor, but I don't think you're going to catch him. Maybe now with a run forward, but the high ground TP will be there. Nice. Played by the Disruptor gets away. Yeah, Raid King uh, now has uh, level 2 reincarnation. Uh, even though it gets focused by Phantom Lancer, he's not gonna have enough mana. Uh, King Secret uh, right now trying to take tier 2 towers. One, well, pretty much both of them on mid and bottom are half HP. The, the top one is full. Uh, with the Aegis, they can actually pressure it. Queen of Pain needs, uh, needs a defensive item. He has uh, Lincoln Sphere queued up. That's the only way they start uh, this fight with the Dragonite Blink stun and silence from Ancient Seal, even though he can remove that one. So he's gonna need the. But Lincoln Sphere is pretty much a, a natural choice. Quick and easy tier 2 though for Secret. A cut of the wave and a push in. But able to really stop this push coming in as Secret can swing in towards the mid lane. Not too much action happening this game. Uh, 15 kills only, 23 minutes in. Slow and steady, everyone's farming, everyone's getting these items that they feel they need to be strong. But uh, it that seems like see a never ending battle for Infamous. Like always, we need this, we need this, we need one you more need, on yeah, top. You need that. <laughs> It's 0 0.635 kills. Maybe it was not the correct, but it was fast, man. You can't see it, but I gave him a look of a... Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't quite sure if you had just whipped out your old calculator there, or if you were... A little bit. So they use Nikes to infest the ancient black dragon, and then Poppy gives him... Uh, Frost armor. That that black dragon is not uh, gonna go down ever. 14 armor, 2,000 HP. Dear, dear. Another tier two for secret. They are just claiming every objective on the map with this Aegis right, splitting lanes, making sure they shove everything in. Bata there with the pipe, the vanguard moving into Shiver's guard. Very very tanky utility build here from the Underlord as the Aghanim Scepter is nearly done for Yapsor, only about a thousand gold away into that but infamous again they still have these ulti combos if they can utilize the vision that they've got again you know come back to their vision it has been reasonably good this game getting deep wards in refreshing their wards centering out they've been able to keep some good wards out on the map but feels like secret know where their wards are don't care enough to deward them and then move across the map to outmaneuver them regardless of the vision yeah did you watch harry potter which one all yeah, all of them, sure. All of them, yeah. yeah but watch just one film. Do you know which dragon this is? It's not a Norwegian Ridgeback. It's a... Yeah. Uh, is it a Norwegian I, Ridgeback? I think it is. Okay, I was going to say a Hungarian something. Yeah, Hungarian... Uh... Or is that a Greenback? No. Ukrainian Iron Belly. Dying. Hungarian Horn Tail. That could be that yeah, one. So I'd yeah, so I'd go for the Hungarian Horn Tail. But uh, yeah, you can have the Norwegian Ridgeback. I'll let you... <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's more like the freaking Goofy from the... Uh, Mickey app. Mouse. Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> have, you, have you seen his teeth? Honestly, look at the dragon. It's Hang on, uh, where, where is it? Is it out here? Is the dragon still around or is it, is it gone? Uh, it's still around. It's on the mid lane. Oh, is it? And, uh, this one we can zoom in too much. Nicer. There, look at, look at those gnashers. Look at those teeth. Look at those teeth. He's a bloody dentist, he does. <laughs> Ridiculous stuff. Right, high ground push is coming, Lacoste, they're knocking on the door of the tier 3, Aegis Secret. is gone. They're chipping away. Yeah, but the, he's not, okay, so Lifestealer has an Aegis while he's inside of the dragon, but dragon doesn't reach an Aegis. Maybe it should work like that. Yeah, I think that should definitely make things balanced again. 
Infamous getting a bit of split push going, cutting waves mid, clearing waves bot, shoving into tier 3. So Secret kind of in this awkward situation where they commit or they get the hell out. And they're okay. running the double dragon strat. They are. I think Ace is having some fun with this one as well. Radiance burn going forward. Dragon with the ice armor again put on. And here come the skeletons. Tier 3. Getting ripped apart with the Dark Rift moving them away. Mid one and Ace will be left alone. I don't know. Bata just cancelled. Yeah, he just cancelled it. Say, so, screw it. We'll take the tier 3 and now we'll start to back away. Now, they were just cutting the waves with PL Illusions, Queen of Pain as well. So they can actually go for Raxus. But again, we're at that kind of breaking point here, right? Where Infamous don't feel strong enough to fight 5v5 because Secret are so tanky, so big with these items. But they have to go for the split push. They have to go for the rat. But they're also not getting any objectives themselves. They're getting, you know, a, a bit more gold. PL and the co-op look very good net worth wise. But will we ever reach that point where Infamous say we're ready? Well, once uh, PL finishes his heart, uh, then he's ready to fight. Before okay. that, I don't think he can take a fight. They're actually trying to make something happen. That That's Poppy with an ultimate. I'm not sure they have enough. They can't burn his mana down quickly enough. He's going to die before that. Or Willy. Oh. He's just using Illusion. That's a nice play. 160. Oh, not timed well enough. Now PL. Four staffed out. Tossed away into the cogs. Manta <laughs> style is there. Turns back to fight Poppy. It's saving Private Kotaro, but they've lost the Disruptor. A big Sonic Wave does catch Ace and brings the life killer down. Hook shot forward. Catches onto Poppy. Do they have the cogs? It oh, looks like Scopefield cool is not able to trap the Wraith King in. But Infamous, they're the ones now with a good fight on the Radiant side of the map, pressuring Tier 3 with a wave shoved in. This is a great position for them. It was a nice initiation and good uh, good thinking by PL, just to attack him with the illusions because Hero would have killed him, uh, but not timed, not timed well. Also, uh, Spirit Vessel on uh, Clockwork. Nikes can't really region with uh, Beast and Open Wounds. It doesn't feel like you're actually regioning. It's, it's a pretty All right, crazy Gary, I'll, I'll ask you a question. You just give me a number. If you uh, have a spirit vessel on and you use a chip... 750. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even finish the question. <laughs> you know I love math. At, at least the simple one. Absolutely. But yeah, if you eat a cheese with spirit vessel on, yeah. 750 out of 2500 is what you get. It still amazes, like it still amazes me. It still leaves me speechless every time I think about it. It's just, how is this feasible? How is this physically possible? Well, if you add five years to your current year, that will be uh, your age in five. That that. Damn. Who got me with that one? Queen of Pain. She up to level twenty-one. What did she go for? Life steal on the spells. I've seen a few players tinker around with the AoE Shadow Strike being pretty pretty nifty, but I guess here the spell lifesteal, you, you know the fights are going to be long, drawn out, very extended with these tanky heroes on secret that just want to be able to keep yourself alive and cycling abilities over and over again as often as you possibly can. Standable there. Ace, on the other hand, after his S and Y, moving into a BKB. Once I went for Shadow Strike AoE, never again. Never it again. It feels so bad. I don't know, if you're playing against some Illusions, uh, good work, but then on the other hand, you have, you're have you playing against the Illusions, Cream of Pain deals damp and you reach more. And you kind of want to build Mjolnir soon as well, yeah. potentially against yeah. the Illusions, but looks like Infamous setting up for a fight middle lane. Schofield to lead the charge here come out, but they're lacking vision. Who do they jump on? Katara with the DD moves forward. Hookshot onto the Queen of Pain, so a misplay there, but in jumps Tiny. Double Mystic Flare out, but not killing. Yapsaw now trapped in the trees, gets whacked by one of the trunks, and as Yapsaw, Sonic Wave down as well, finally brought to his knees. But in the back end, the PL's being chased down. His double damage rune has not gone to work. The Dragon Tail does come out, but the three-man static storm good from the Disruptor. Kotaro barely escaping. The urn is there. Spirit Vessel oh. does not keep him alive through the Firestorm. Bata chases Stinger down now as the Titan trying to retreat, but the Cogs keep Schofield inside the trap. Stinger will blink himself out. Queen of Pain thinking about going in again, Lacoste, but we see it time and time again. Secrets drafts, especially this one, they have four heroes that will not die! Yeah, the, the only hero they actually killed was uh, 
Skyrat mage, and that's it. Like, they had to commit Queen of Pain ulti even. This Roche goes down so quickly with the Firestorm. They can't do anything about it. They should just try to continue to but push. Maybe a good item on uh, on Tiny, uh, since he has uh, mana boots, would be to upgrade it to Lotus Orb, which is really good against the Dragonite stun, Open Wood, Silence, Great King stun as well. Uh, I remember during the Galaxy Battles, uh, BGJ Thunder, they actually had Tiny with, with the Lotus Orb, which uh, changed the game. So, uh, Life Stealer, S and Y, just to tank it up. All right, he's actually in problem. Spirit Vessel can't region out, has an Aegis. Oh, he's life stealing a lot. Rage. Last thing. Decent chunk there, and he even had the infest to jump in. Yeah, a lot of misses from uh, Radiance and Solar Crest. Um, Raid King getting close to Spirit Vessel. To sorry, but... Shiva's Guard. Sometimes my brain. Dyer's top shrine is under Are they going double Shiva's Guard? Deal with the PL illusions. Not, not a bad idea. Also, Nikes, what is he building? Uh, has uh, BKB queued up, so. Oh, Yappy. Oh, Yappy kills Schofield, and now the Queen of Pain blinks away, so Yapsaw all still alive, but Puppy burnt down by the illusions. Looks like he's okay for the matter of time, but. Phantom Lantern might not be caught by mid one. Avalanche does come in to try and save the PL's life with the doppelganger over the trees. Taro gets a bit of distance and has Manta Style ready to go, but he's stunned up and killed before he gets to use it. Yeah, you really don't feel the damage that the PL does right now, especially when uh, Underlord is sitting next to him, plus a Shiva's guard. He can't really go in. Oh, he silenced <laughs> the, the centaur. centaur, but he's gonna stun him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, blinks away for Peter. Get out as quickly uh, as he possibly can. <laughs> Mid one still thinking maybe about a blink and a stun. Doesn't have anything to follow up with except for right click. So for now, that will have to do. Papita does get away before the concussive shot lands. Distant from the secret lineup. But again, that's infamous going in for a play. That's them kind of setting up. And we saw mid lane, we've seen bottom lane now. They go in onto a target, they try to bring them down. If they don't succeed at that first kill, it all just goes completely to shit. If they do succeed at they get to getting the first kill, then it's kind of a balanced fight. They need to get some crazy numbers advantage to even think about succeeding. Yeah, that's, that's true, Gary. Also, I hope Tiny doesn't go for Lincoln Sphere. That item feels so bad on Tiny since uh, the status resistance that he has. He's, if he sells the Stout Shield and clears one creep camp, he, he has uh, Lotus Orb if he disassembles Mana Boot. Not sure that Matt is gonna really... Oh, oh, maybe? He blinks away. He got caught there. Been a little longer. So, Bata, Ace. Puppy, mid one, Yapsaw, that's it. I can read. Spirit moving in towards middle lane. Reap's pushing in and Racked exposed. Glyph is here for the infamous side, but they just go back to cutting waves. They just do not feel like they can handle the secret squad. So giving away a lane of Racks here, even with the Glyph up, looks like the option they're going to take, and it's the uh, the soft way out. But Secret not going for soft. They want to go in hard. Static Storm will land on Ace, but he doesn't care with his Rage already up. He rips apart. Scopefield pushes out of the cogs. With the buyback available, but no hook shot for quite some time. I cannot imagine Infamous bringing that clockwork back into the land of the living. So they keep split pushing, keep cutting these waves as PL does return to his base to defend, but the stun comes through. Kataro trapped but four staffed away. The life still chases in onto the tiny stinger. Oh, in so much trouble with a slow from the DK form. There he goes, dead and down into the ground. 15 to nine and secret looking very good to close out this game. They have a buyback, but the uh, backdoor protection because they cut the creep wave, so they can't... Uh, oh, the bottom. oh, there's the gang. Papita! Lincoln's popped. Yule's up. Do they have a stun to follow through a silence or anything like that? Oh, it doesn't matter. Pit traps, her. pit traps him afterwards. Two and a half seconds uh, Yule duration and the uh, interval, what, 3.6? They stunned him already. Very good. Very, very good. So, melee racks mid lane gone. 
gained there by Infamous, apart from a bit of farm, but losing the Queen of Pain, incredibly damaging. And now, look at the DK. He has something to pop the Lincolns, and he has something to deal with the Quap or the PL. They've used them. The Yules. BKB for lifesteal, it means that Static Storm no longer. That annoying in these fights for him. And what is Puppy has the full Shiva's guard, level 18, 40 seconds cooldown Clockwork. on his ulti. Clockwork, yeah, you're dead, buddy. He even misses the hook shot. The panic shot hook. And he's got buyback, but buyback without hook ag again. Not really going to be able to accomplish too much. We do have creep waves coming in towards mid, so top lane open here for Secret to try and break the top racks. Yeah, this is just desperation from right now. Welcome back, like, Huomao OB2. Using a glimpse to negate some damage that the Dragonite will deal to the And they have Radiance on the bottom lane from Illusion, cutting the creep wave. Of course they do. <laughs> Those little skeletons. You bastards, leave my shrine alone. Papita. Well, this lifestealer has a BKB, so your options are pretty limited, Clockwork. The buyback will not be a dieback just yet. Thanks up a bit of damage there from the Skyrath Mage, but he's got a hookshot ready this time around. PL. Where, where is the real PL? He's, he's still up at top lane, chipping yeah. away at the tier 2. Yeah, look at the build. He's not gonna even have enough time to buy double Midas. Too late for that. Maybe Puppy is overextended a little bit here though. Lost a lot of his mana, only two one charges, but Kataro thinking twice about competing with the Wraith King. For he the denied it. Attention around this tower and he did in fact deny the tower and now Kataro in trouble. Blink stun, DK in. Manta ready for the Phantom Lancer to get away from danger, but they've got tools to deal with this. There's the Shivers Guard in again with the Mystic Flare on top. Kataro, they know which one is real. The Sonic Wave will do absolutely nothing. Hookshot will though. Traps in two. Cogs push back. Ace now with the Static Storm in. Kataro's been tossed into the teammates, but he's on low HP. One bit of damage will do the trick and Yapsul will secure it. Now the Clockwork will take a tumble as Infamous losing one hero by one stunned caught queen of pain killed a double for mid one yeah this is a disaster yeah this is a disaster i mean this uh it's just a matter of time until secret goes for the third rax is uh, roche may respawn in 20 seconds if they want to feel if they want to play it safe uh they should roche and then uh, to be honest they don't need it Full Bloodthorn coming out for mid one as well. Don't cool down here for the Infamous. I guess right idea. Trying to play into your PL. You know, you've lost mid lane, top lane. You've got a PL in an aggressive position and you just try and shift your heroes over there, but Secret again we come back to the fact that you can't touch these heroes. They are monsters. They are titans absolute beasts as they destroy your buildings. You've got no one to defend. Hiding in your fountain, cowering away these heroes on the dire side. They've got uh, you know, a fight still in them. Still have some pride to play for here as they could look for an initiation with hook shot in. Queen of Pain alive in around 10 seconds, but it will be the last engagement. This is the defense of the ancient throne still standing. And the South Americans looking to try and keep Secret at bay, at least for now. A back up and a retreat. Secret will fall away for now. But for how long, Lacan? I mean, if you could not defend the normal creeps, you're not going to defend against Mega Creep. Roche is up in, what, five seconds? Yep. That's actually a lie. Look at the timing on Roche. Three seconds after. One, One. second. Two, two and a half seconds. Two point sixty. Pretty accurate. You have an atomic clock in your brain. Oh, Kataro, no. A load of illusions. Kataro still hiding in the trees here. Secret. They've got no idea. Roshan will be scouted by the catapult, though. Oh, Infamous, they know something's up. This Invis from DK catches the clockwork. All he wanted was some vision in the pit, but he's now dead for a minute. 
Oh, Nyx actually disassembled S and Y and bought the Manta style to, to remove the Bloodthorn. Even though, even though he has a, a BKB as well. So that's a Rage, a BKB, then Rage again. Ra rage BKB, huh? You know about rage the Rage BKB. buyback, but <laughs> what about the Rage BKB? Just pop it! Just freaking pop it! PL, this is dangerous. Mystic Flare is there, one. and in fact, he always he's dead. Finds, He always finds a real one. That, that's it! Uh, PL dies and the game is literally over! Well, not really a climatic uh, ending of the game, but the uh, game was over already. Ten minutes, it was just a matter of time. Did you see that cinematic ending? Yeah, it's beautiful. As good as... Uh... Uh, Spielberg, yeah, absolutely. Couldn't agree more. That will be...